Hi, my name is Eberichi from Eric's Fashion School. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to hem the edges of a flare with bias. So I used it for this off-shoulder blouse using net and then I went round it, leaving one inch before starting and one inch when I got to the edge. So if you use that method, you're going to have a clean finish in all round your bias piece like the edges and then at the end like at the end and the start of the bias so i'm going to show you what the last the finishing point looks like so this is what it's going to look like so before you start your flea before you start fixing your bias you open up your bias on the wrong side of the bias just on the surface of the fabric like the front side where you want to attach the flare you have to start about one inch before the edge of the bias so you have to leave one inch that one inch is going to be used for the final finishing and the folding so you take your um, sewing machine around the bias make sure it's your stitching on the folded line along the folded line so you can see my one inch so I'm going to stitch all around my flare this is actually a flare sleeve for a gown I'm going to stitch round it so I actually did the same thing for the net stitch round it once it's a flare or any kind of fabric at all once it doesn't have a continuation like okay once it's just it doesn't have a cut at the end like it's a flare you just go around it and attach your bias so after seeing your bias when you're getting to the end you make sure you leave another one inch close to the edge the other edge of the um on the, the display that doesn't have a bias so when you get close to it you just lift that one inch okay so that's supposed to be the stopping point that place you have the one inch so you just measure and leave an extra one inch that one inch is going to be used for folding so you bend it like so so when you bend it, you bend it toward the first one inch excess. So you bend them together and stitch together along the folded line. So when you do that, you stitch together, then you cut. So this is what it's going to look like. You bend over to the other side. You can see how neat it looks there. So then, okay, so here yeah, it's folded this one inside so the one the other one now is folded over it and we can now top stitch so that's the next stage of your sewing of, of the sewing of your bias so you top stitch you take your stitches round you do the border stitching so that your top stitch can look very neat so now we're done top stitching you cut off all your excess threads when you're done top stitching so now that part that is on top the other part of the the other part of the bias that you left on top looking folded after you're done trimming off the excess threads you bend it over okay so you bend it over this way ensure that the bias on the inside that, that's the one below ensure that the one below is well blended with it that's the folded lines align okay so this is the way it would look so you open up the one on the inside to blend well with the one on the outside so you bend toward you 
on the inside so the inside inner part of the dress depending on the direction you want it to face so you can see how it looks well folded and neat so we can now do the second stitch on top of it more like the second um, top stitch on okay so you just stitch round it when you're done stitching you can take an iron round it so for the um for the flare sleeve i worked on the one with the red net i ironed i placed another material on top of it and ironed it so we just go around the flare and we just have a very nicely neatly finished work so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe don't forget to follow us up on our other channels facebook.com slash mason thank you